All right, Planeswalkers back at it today with another top deck. This one, Esper Midrange for standard best of one. Now, this particular version pumps around 55% plus. On average, this archetype does about a little north of 50. Um, this particular one um, has a little bit differences that we'll talk about here today, and I'm excited to cover. So breaking things down on today's episode of Top Deck, if you got questions or comments, do let me know. We'll cover the deck list. We'll go play that competitive magic. And then last but not least, we'll pull it all together and a little bit of an outtake retrospective for today. So appreciate you tuning in as always. And on top of that, appreciate your support. Everything is down below in the timestamps for you. So let's give it a go. Um, here's what we got going on with Esper Midrange. Standard best of one. Again, like I said, this particular version is uh, breaking 55% here. Um, comes at us from untapped. Now, a couple things that makes this one a little bit different. You see a lot of one-offs and three ofs. Um, making this a little bit unique in terms of what's going on with this archetype. One of the things and one of the reasons why I wanted to play it for you here today, um, generally we'll see make disappear maybe a three, four of. In this one, we're only running one. Destroy evil, same thing. You're probably going to see this three, four of. You won't see uh, Ludovic. And additionally, um, you don't really see, you would see more void renders um, and a little bit different annoyed peacekeeper. So I like these items. Um, additionally, Urtai resurrected here, a little bit more on the control side. Um, but again, a couple key differences that I wanted to shout out here and cover with this deck. Gives you some unique opportunities in terms of the decks that you're gonna encounter in the meta. A thing that I always like and like to take advantage of because it can make or break games for you there um, as well. But again, we got our shell, the core pieces here, uh, right here in terms of taking things down um, against our opponents in this particular version um, as well when it comes to Esper Midrange and making it that Esper Midrange deck. So um, that is the list here. We got a lot of great things to smooth out our mana base. Um, additionally, again, covering a lot of these pieces, Midrange deck again, because it focuses really on this three, four slot. Um, you obviously see we don't have any one drops. Um, in this version so very very heavy on the creatures lots of things that you're going to do there in terms of esper all right let's go put the pedal to the metal when it comes to our deck here today very excited about this one like i said um it can be a pain to play against um in particular uh if you really really enjoy um playing um Ooh, let's not go to events. Here we go. If you really enjoy playing, uh, not playing against this list anyway, um, as I like to say, I don't like to play it. They're play against it. Um, I will like to play it today. I'm sure we'll see how it goes. Um, we might not be saying that, but let's get moving. Um, so those are a couple of key components and things to keep in mind. Again, tough to play against things that you really got to think about because that control aspect, we got some bigger creatures, creatures that do a lot of things um, and can be hard to remove off the board. So uh, near match usually does it. You also got mono black control that can do it. Um, so things to keep in mind, very, very strong start here. And um, we'll keep this. We got our three mana that we need to hit right away. Um, in addition, that gives us Rafine. We can remove things with Infernal Grasp. And very, very powerful um, four slots. So we will keep this. This one's two or more other lands, so we can make that our turn three. This starting off um, is big for us here, particularly playing, um, getting them to play first. Uh, is going to be really helpful again because we're on that two. So we got a nice two into three um, curve. Looks like we got, no, we don't have mirror match. Um, so we'll see how this goes. Which could be interesting. All right. So we can play this one. We can make it work. We'll see what our opponents do. We don't have a counter. So that's going to be big for us. We can play either of these. So I'll have to see what they do. If we can get shield red on off the bat here, that's nice. We do have Infernal Grasp. If we need to move something off, we do have the Wandering Emperor as well. All right, so we can certainly keep that. I actually want to get this down first. We will do that. I'm going to kick. What do I want to kick? I like to keep this. Um, we could kick this to make this a little bit bigger. We still have an option here. If they lock this down, not great. 
but we did get good value out of it and making Rafine bigger um, is very helpful for us here. So we can add that, we can keep this on a bounce. Um, we will do a few things here. We will play that. We can play this. We will take that off the board as well. And we'll kick the land. Now we get a lot more we can attack with next time. And we got our lovely flash here as well. Oh, they're gonna do it again. No need to worry about that. And there's their flip. So we do have this one if we want. We can pump that back. And decide if we want to keep this guy. He's a good pitch right now, too. Now we could do two with this here. Put it on this. Ooh, that's a bummer. We don't have enough to get rid of here. Let's do these two. We'll actually pump this out of the way. Could have played that sooner. Um, what that would have done as well is that would have given us that two draw um, giving us that extra life for four. So that's one of the things that we could have done instead. I was actually hoping um, we could hit, get to three, they would block and then drop the Wandering Emperor on that um, and make a big difference. But that is obviously not what happened. We can do this a couple things here. It says flash, counter target spell activate ability or trigger ability or destroy another creature. And it's a four of. We can drop this one. There we go. Now they could still have counters. They got a lot of stuff locking in here. Counter target spell activated ability. Um, they might try and get rid of this, so we probably should do this. And that pretty much locks the game in for us for the most part. Um, to a certain extent. I'll attack with him. We'll give him the three. We'll 
actually do this now. You've done it. That's coming off. Show them how we greet our enemies. And we go four here if we hit. We'll see. Let's go here. Uh, two, three, four cards. One, two. Well, we got to keep one up. Keep that one. Dump that one. And we are through. They didn't get the blocks in right. We took it down. They probably knew at that point they were in trouble. Now we could have waited as we wanted to attack in there, pop that kind of a thing, but we still got through. So very smooth play there. Um, <clears throat> lots of interactions. Let's go to our next match. We did get to see a lot of the things in the deck, which is great. And the one of their um, really making a difference for us uh, in that matchup, which is big. One of the reasons why you like to have that, again, with Rafine, when you're going through there, um, you get a lot of opportunity to find a lot of different things. Um, we will keep this. Just got a true twos. Um, good. And a threes. Now, mono blue tempo here. Could be a slight challenge. Particularly because we are not first. So we'll have to see. We're gonna have to try it. Most likely we're gonna get countered on all this stuff. The good news is the fact that we can play this back in for its disturb is gonna be really helpful. So that the re you them doing that one, in my opinion, is not super great. Um, but it did put it into the graveyard, so remember that, or into the exile. So we'll try again. So ultimately, if we get to six or seven, and get this ability to play two cards on this. It's gonna make a big difference. And we have two kill spells, which is big. If we can get that down, that's gonna be super helpful for us. It is. Lots oh, going there. Now we're in need of a land. <clears throat> we are in need of a land. If we get to five, we'll be sitting pretty good. We'll see if we get through. They can bounce. That is fine. Um, we will have to hit this. This is uncounterable. I 
ideally, 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 having those lands is big. Getting to six would be ideal here, too. That's a lot of damage. There we go. So in this particular case, we will play this first. There we go. Now we could have waited again. As we learned with the last one there, they could have played and got their guy off. There's two. Let's see if we can get away. We still have our make disappear here. Now this time, I'm actually going to play this. So we can pop one in the graveyard. Let's see if we get that in there. then I can get wedding announcement on there. There we go. Very, very nice. So our setback there was being able to cast twice. Um, we did get into a nice rhythm though against our mono blue tempo. We kind of overloaded um, and were able to make things work out and remove their payloads every time. Getting the let's destroy the creature, uncounterable, huge, huge, huge there for us. All right. Third and final best of one with our Esper deck here, Esper mid-range. Can we make it work? Cinda it is. All right, legendary, legendary. So we're not gonna be able to play this guy off the bat, but we are in the right play mode. Um, that is not also legendary land all right going to play that so we can get the black source in Do we attack in? Might not be terrible. Uh, we can pitch that one. And let's get that on. Hurt. Uh, 
let's go attack. Let's discard that. And... We can go with that, or... Let's go with that. So we can either, we can go exile here with pay three life, we'll get two back. Not gonna be able to do well there. Um, we could have popped this in, killed this guy. I think we're gonna be a little bit of a problem here though. We have to block there. Seven. Gives them seven. They got it. Either way. Unfortunately, not enough there. Maybe if we would have played Tenacious Underdog instead of Pitching. If we used the Wandering Emperor, we would have got two back on it, but we would have lost one of the blockers, so it still would have been enough damage through. All in. Very, very nice, smooth play for us today. Good showcase in this deck. Um, let's go back and check it out. Again, this particular Esper midrange version running 55% plus, being very strong. Um, we got to see that. We didn't get to see AO at all, but we did see almost everything else. We didn't see Anointed and Destroy Evil, um, but we did get a chance to take a look and crack at everything else. So all in, two and one. Very, very nice session here today, Planeswalkers. Um, appreciate you tuning in. As always, questions or comments, do let me know. Feel free to swing by the Discord server. All kinds of information down below. Great ways to connect, stay up to date on all things here on the channel. Um, we'd love to see you around some more. All right, Planeswalkers, appreciate that support as always. We'll see you again soon. Take care, stay safe, and we got a lot more content coming your way. Mithras out.